Hello everyone and welcome back to another $3 dinners. Let me quickly walk you through my grocery haul and give you my total cost, which I was trying to do another two for $5 dinner, but this little bag of rice did me in. I had to get the two pound bag of rice because the one pound was out of stock. So I spent a total of $5.77. I got some zucchini, an onion, a couple bulk carrots, which that is one of the reasons I love Winco Foods. You can get their veggies in bulk. So if you just wanna buy a couple, you don't have to buy a huge bag. Some rice, like I said, I got two pounds of white rice. I don't eat brown rice, just a specific preference. My body doesn't really love whole grains, but it loves starches. A sweet potato, a pack of ramen. Leave me a comment below if you are secretly a ramen lover like myself. And some of you don't eat ramen, but just to be honest with you, I love it and I don't think it's bad in moderation. So every so often I eat it garbanzo beans and diced tomatoes and I did get the ones with Italian herbs so I spent like 10 extra cents for that can but I thought the seasonings would be important you don't have to get those you can get the regular ones and then just use them yourself but there's my little grocery haul and this is gonna make two large dinners especially with two pounds of rice but let's jump in to the first recipe okay the first recipe I have been seeing on TikTok and Pinterest for forever and I haven't tried it, so I'm jumping in and giving it a go. You could substitute a different noodle if you wanted to, um, other than ramen. I know you can get like an oil-free fresh noodle, at least you can at my grocery store, but the reason I used ramen over that is because these are 25 cents and then the other noodles are like $1.99 or $2.99, so just depending on if they are on sale or not, but you're gonna need a pack of quick cooking noodles, a half of an onion, half of this is going into the other recipe, two zucchini, the third recipe, the third zucchini is going into the other recipe, three carrots, and a can of tomatoes of your choice, and then add any seasonings that you would like, but this is what you're going to need to start. Oh, and you can substitute for any veggies you'd like, but we're doing a pasta dish that is a one pan, so let's get started. <laughs> large glass container and I'm just going to throw my veggies in here um, it doesn't have to have any oil or anything in it because they're just going to roast and it doesn't usually stick that bad for me but you could use oil if you wanted to I don't normally cook with oil or you could add some parchment paper but we're gonna roast these and the carrots so let's get the carrots chopped and peeled <music> the top rack of my oven at 450 degrees for about 20 minutes until it's fully roasted and then we'll come back to it with the next step see you in a little bit You were probably thinking for the ramen dish, she's not using any seasoning. Well, I am. And no, I'm not using the soy sauce packet in the ramen. I'm actually just gonna probably set that in my cupboard and maybe use it for something else. If I don't, then I'll probably toss it. But I'm gonna make a little tomato sauce. So I'm using garlic salt, onion powder, Italian seasoning. I would use nutritional yeast, but I have not picked it up in forever I keep forgetting and then I have this little hand mixer that I put my tomatoes in if you've been around my channel for a while you know this is how I make tomato sauce <laughs> 
Once the veggies are roasted to your liking, please note they are going to have to cook for at least another 10 minutes. So mine were in there for about 20 minutes. They're nice and tender, but not quite all the way done yet. But you're going to want to bake these for at least 10 more minutes. But you're gonna to top them with your ramen and your sauce. Now that they're covered, you're gonna to want to pop them back into your oven, 450 degrees, top rack. Everything I've heard on the internet says you can do this in so many different ways, but you're gonna to wanna to cover your ramen. That one's not quite covered all the way, but it should be okay. Throw them back in for 10 minutes or until your ramen is cooked. All right, so I just pulled this out of the oven. And if you're wondering, I already checked it to make sure it was cooked, but my noodles are really soft, but um, they're still together. Um, and then what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to mix all of this up and then serve it. And you know what? The texture of these looks really good. It was in there for about 10 minutes. Um, you can always throw it back in. And the recipe did say that if you needed to add a little bit more liquid, you could. I would add either water or veggie broth if you needed to. I think it just kind of depends on like how many veggies you use or how big your can of tomato sauce is, but this looks really good. I'm kind of excited about this meal. We're gonna split this in two, so decent size a meal for us, and this is gonna be dinner for tonight. This is definitely more of a fall type recipe, but I think it looks really delicious. It's a different spin on ramen, which I am always looking for. Plus, who doesn't love like a one pot recipe? In the winter time, this would be fabulous. So maybe I'm jumping the gun a little bit, but I just feel like this is gonna be so good. And you could even eat it cold, which honestly is probably what I'll do because it is summertime, but it smells really good. And all those roasted veggies add such a healthy kick to normally high sodium you know, high calorie ramen. So definitely give this one a try. And like I said, you can make your own spin on it, but it just kind of gives it like an Italian feel. And I think it's gonna be really delicious. jump ship here a little bit but as you can tell I use the rest of the ingredients for this recipe so here on this sheet pan I have a parchment paper and then I have the sweet potato the little bit of onion and the zucchini and then also for this recipe I'm using the garbanzo beans which I'm going to drain and rinse and put on here as well and then I'm going to put the rice in my pressure cooker just because it's just the fastest way and the perfect way for me to have rice and then I'm gonna top these with seasoning I'm not sure what seasonings yet Comment down below and make a guess before I top them.
if you are wondering, I am cooking both of these meals on the same night because this is actually going to be dinner for tonight and the other one's gonna be lunch. So I'm kind of just cooking ahead. They can be dinners, they can be lunches, whatever. And I just wanna check my veggies and see if they were done to my liking. They've been in for about 20 minutes and you can see my sweet potatoes are, are starting to brown up a little bit on the bottom side. And I wanna just check to make sure they were to my liking. And it seemed like they're really soft and ready to go. So I'm gonna leave these out and my rice just 66, so it's finished. I'm gonna let the pressure release a little bit and then get to styling this bowl. If you're wondering why I decided to meal prep this one instead of have it for like a dinner, is because I knew it would be something I could eat on the go. Like I just need a spoon with this. And if you're wondering, I'm gonna to top it with soy sauce and spicy mustard, my two favorite things in the world. So I did portion this out into five portions, about a cup of rice, and then obviously the chickpeas, potatoes, zucchini, onions are split five ways. You can portion this however you would like to. I know for myself, this is like the perfect pre-run meal. It's not too much to fill my belly where like I'm sluggish. It's just enough for me, but we all know our bodies differently. So if you need more or less food, obviously I have a ton of rice left over. I will show you. I have all this rice. I only use about two and a half cups total uh, uncooked, obviously. So I only used about half the rice. So I could have added so much more rice to this. Rice is super filling. So five meals for about $3. Obviously, if you eat a little bit more or want to throw in some rice, you can do so. You can bulk it up a little bit. But there are my pre-run meals for the next few days. Mm -hmm. 